Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a very very basic uh, double crochet border on your blankets. Um, I'm just using um, a bigger granny square um, as a sample piece just to show you how to do uh, the border. Uh, but this border will work on any size blanket. Uh, so again I'm working in UK terms so I'm using the double crochet um, that would be a single crochet in the US. So I'm going to use a different colour yarn um, so that you can see what I'm doing um, and a 4.5mm hook. Um, so what you want to do is insert your new yarn into the top of the stitches. Um, so when we work um, a granny square we actually work into the gaps uh, but when we're doing the border we're going to actually work into the top of the stitch. So if you just look and put your hook underneath one of the V's that's the top of the stitch so we just attach our yarn in the normal way I do have a video um, for this if you want to watch it slowed down um, as I've said on many occasions I do like to tie my yarn um, you don't have to but I do like to so that I know that it's definitely secure so we're going to grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We're then going to chain one and then we're going to do a double crochet in each of the stitches along this edge until we reach the corner. So we're going to insert into the next stitch along, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Again into the very next stitch, insert our hook yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and again into the next stitch so if you notice with my tail end if you just keep it flat against the edge and work around it um, that will reduce the need to sew that in at the end so if you just keep going all the way along this edge doing double crochets into each of the stitches until you reach the corner. So I've got one stitch left which is just here so I'm going to do my double crochet into there and then when we get to the corner space we're just going to work directly into that space so we're going to do two double crochets so that's one and then two we're then going to chain two because it's a corner and then we're going to do another two double crochets straight into that corner space so one and two we're then going to work along this edge again into the top of the actual stitches. So insert your hook into the top of the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and again into the next stitch, and again. So work your way all the way to this corner and I'll meet you back to show you the corner again. So again I've made my way to the corner and I've got one stitch left so I insert into the top of that stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through and I'm now at the corner. So don't forget we work directly into the corner space with two double crochets, chain two for the corner and then directly back into that corner space with another two double crochets and we then continue as normal into the top of each of the stitches so if you want to pause the video here and make your way all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end for joining just remember on the edges we work into the top of the stitches so underneath each of the V's of the stitches and in the corner spaces we work directly into the corner space with two double crochets, chain two for the corner and another two double crochets in the corner. 
So I've made my way all the way around and I've just got one stitch left. So I'm going to do that last stitch. And then to join, we're going to ignore the initial chain one that we did and we're just going to insert our hook underneath the first double crochet that we did. I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops for a slip stitch. So if you want to add another row, all you would do is the same thing again. So you would chain one and then go into your next stitch along with another double crochet and you would work your way all the way back around doing double crochets into each stitch. And when you get to the corner, you work into the space with two double crochets, chain two for the corner, two double crochets and then work along the edge under each of the stitches. Um, if you don't want to add another row, uh, you can add as many rows as you want, but if you don't want to add another row, you will just finish off um, in the same way. So you will chain one, snip your yarn and pull through and then pull tight to secure. So that's the very basic double crochet border. Um, it's very simple, it looks nice um, and it's easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, very quick tutorial. Uh, if you did, please do give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you click the bell button, you will be notified when a new video has been uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye bye.